What's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grape Seed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. Seven millimeters. Who the fuck does this hey, point seven? How about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh, Ooh the fool wants to race what? us. We were just getting out of here anyway. <laughs> All right. Oh. Coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. Ain't gonna stop with us back here. We gotta get right up behind them. Suspect has entered the Braddock Tunnel. Officer T maintains his pursuit.
You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit! Get the fuck out of here! Go on! Yes? Mm -hmm. I know that voice. Hear that? Johnson's Johnson. Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Devin Weston's Holding Company, if that's what you mean. Oh, keep talking. I'm enjoying this. Let's assume you're talking about the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South L.S. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Don't hang up. I... Oh, I think I love you. Hey, man, you know how hard it was to try slow enough to stay with these fools? Let's have a real race. Devin's lonely lawyer says go to Hayes Auto in South L.S. So that's where we're swapping insurance details. So that's where I'll be waiting. We'll see about that. I vote we indulge his childish need to play. Besides, it's his head on the block if they get scratched. Talent prevails. That's all I'll say. I can still take you! You believe that? Hey, Frank. Yeah. What did I tell you, bro? These cars. <laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what? Right before I met you, I was boosting rides and racing them. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dog. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'd be at anyway. Won't 
cost me to boost cars and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they worth. It don't sound that different to be honest. Now you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So he like to you what you were to me. I see your house. I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. Did anyone see that? What's your angle, Mike? What do you mean? Like, how am I gonna beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just the smell of green? Or is there some other thing with this guy and you? You know, it feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional woman who's doing her job. I'm serious! Both of you! Back off her! Here comes the overtake! Hey, your car is still all right, right? Good to see you taking this seriously, Frank. Good management. If I'm finna do this, I'm finna do it right. So, uh, how your car, Mike? <laughs> My car is fine. Yeah, I hope so, cause I'm in charge of this shit, and I will dock your pay. The stains on the seat were here when I got in. Oh, come on, T-Man, please! Look out! I'm passing! This me, my homies. car! Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk! Hey, right, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. Jackson Skinner, he's head of product development at Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. And the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder from Moscow to Tehran. He's handing it to the cyber terrorists on a fucking silver platter. Okay, dog, chill. Shit, chill. I got you, man. What's the play? I'm reliably informed that he has a weakness for working girls. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. You stake her out, and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. 
Meanwhile, maybe I'll take another look at the fruit share price. <laughs> All right, homie. I'll be in touch. Yeah, baby! House number seven, and that's just in Rockford Hill. Damn, that must be my girl. Hey, baby, what can I get for 10 bucks? You can get the bus home and jerk off thinking about me. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, baby. You miss me? I was starting to think you weren't coming. Oh, I always... You know, I don't even feel bad about it. Hey, man, I'll wipe that software for you. Ah, excellent news. I'll speak to you soon. So who the fuck don't you like today? Guys called Isaac Penny, ruthless vulture capitalist, about to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company and sell thousands of workers down the river. Penny's uh, one of those tight-fisted billionaires, rides the same bus to and from work every day. I was thinking he could take over the route and... Drop the ass off where he needs to go. I got it. Good. Oh, one thing. If I was you, I wouldn't buy any Vapid stock until the acquisition falls through. I know, but I got a bug that I can't shake. God, hell Damn, right. I love your car. Sorry! Hey, sorry I'm late. It's my first day on the job. I hope the traffic isn't too bad. Yesterday it took me three hours to go half a mile. Damn, would it kill you people to crack a smile? Hey, get in, we're running late. Who farted? Come on, that's disgusting. Well, you're late, late, late. That'll be 150. 
Mr. Penny, ain't he? Bear hike. Forget about it. Spent thrifts. Hey! Blame it on the city! Oh, now you gonna run, huh, motherfucker? You ain't going nowhere. Jesus, have you been drinking? This driver is a fucking lunatic! Thank you for riding LS Transit. No. It's been real. Peace. Get away from me, you idiot. Man, I'm just a bus driver, homie. Oops, pardon me. I just want to talk, Penny. You're out of your mind. Just business shit. You know how it is. Good to go. Put up your hands and stand where I can see you. All right, you got me, homie. All right, you know how to work that face recognition shit already? Well, figure it out. Okay, booting up. You can use the stick to move the camera. Zoom in and out. It'll pick up pedestrians carrying the 2012 SA State license. If you target them, the scanner accesses the database and pulls their record. Hey, let's see if we can scan my buddy.
I've been cross-dressing, but he ain't. Crew guys on a rooftop going at it. The lady downstairs in the bikini. Let's see if we can connect the dots. Come in, Franklin. Suspect's not in the area. I repeat, suspect not found in the area. All right, all right. He might be a couple blocks east of him. Roger that. Near the Life Invader 
car might be worth something? Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's... It... Hey, look out for fools like me! Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? Or just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars? Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dawg. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. Come on, why not? It's about time I settle down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just say hello. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. So, uh, the old hanging Chad has only gone and reported that car stolen. Shit, and I spared this motherfucker. Attention all units. We've got a 503 on the Vehicle the
Hey, I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. Oh, there she is. <laughs> You know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? I'll tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this. Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, no don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, yeah. Just take any car and go! guy stealing contracts you clerked a farm killed my brothers you had too many brothers they needed culling you're fucking dead aren't we all we live and we die that's our curse hey you want to expedite the situation come fucking find me vespucci beach los santos you inbred hillbilly fuck I'll be there, man! I don't know when, but I'll be there! What is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work? This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, it's my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. What did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The yes. truth. Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, uh, some people, they no longer fear me as much as they used to. People who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met him, Michael. Uh. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. Huh? By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. What does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier. He's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's the pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want a drink? Not now! 
pendeja. ¿Qué no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? All right. You grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right. You need anything, get me on the headset. Okay, well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there. To that guy's house? Understood. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? Whatever. The guy has trouble getting it up. We'll clear two, three million on those. Easy. Perverts will pay anything for hope. We weren't casing the joint. We didn't agree to a fee for this job. So what's it all about? Okay. The guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him. But it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole, right? The fuck? All right, I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot. T, if you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet! Past the airfield! 
sometime. Yeah, you know what? That's good. Losing altitude rapidly. I'm going to have to bring it down in dirt. God help us. Roger, November 9 and Charlie Echo. What is your stance? God help us. But seriously, bro, coming all the way out here, we gotta get paid. Just do the job. I'll get us paid down the road. Guy must have taken down the jet. If the crash didn't kill... Take him to Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. Shit, sorry. What? There's been a change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works. A little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! I wouldn't do it. Somehow I don't believe that. Where is he? Uh, the fuck has happened? Why did he have his car? Man, that piece of turd, huh? 
No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What happened? Cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Tom! don't. Answer your fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife! Oh, no! Oh, shit! What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Now, oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're gonna have to lay low for a little while oh. while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called Shotgun. <laughs> now I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out, you know, it's a, a very relaxing little spot. A little getaway, if you will, a cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So, you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. You need to get on set. Where the hell is Brandon? Jesus, are you gonna find him? Someone's gonna find him. Where is my movie star? Where is my movie star? What is the point of building all these sets? We gotta put Brandon's head on the guy's hey, body in the host. You get out that guy out of there. You gotta watch He's out, son. Oh. Oh. What's Brandon doing? What is going on? What are you doing? Is this a kidnapping? Pull over, creepo! Get off the wheel! I need to get the fuck out of here! Studio security are shutting your ass down, wacko! They ain't gonna be on us for long! Oh, is this one of those modern safety features? Is this an abduction? Nah, you cool? What's this? Spikes? Not at all. I mean, chill out. I'm just interested in the whip. What do you mean, the whip? You dick! I could buy this car with what I make in a morning. I think you underestimate the value of this automobile. Or overestimating your own talent. Uh, I think you're under... I... Oh, see you later. I think you're underestimating what I get paid. You paid a couple million for a morning's work? Shit, I should sack my agent. Yeah, yeah, fools. Shit. Are you... Stockholm Syndrome won't work on me, fuckball. Look, I respect you as a... Ah! I respect you as an artist and a human being, but I got other priorities. Oh my gosh, get me out of here. Damn, what's this button do? Oh, 
If you have the car, bring it to Hayes Auto in South LS. Mr. Weston is marathon training, but he can reconfigure his route to meet you there. All right, cool. I got the car. No drum. That's good. The studio is enough of a money sink without the costs that that drama can bring. What kind of shape is the car in? We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spikes and ejector seat need replacing, too? Uh, both of those are going to need replacing, all right? Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. You're developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorten them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know, movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so what you just did is practically legal. Ha! Practically. Ooh, shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get down like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. <laughs>